Hey guys, this is the, I don't know, some number of podcasts, and we are here with our friend Chris Tom. Say hello. And um, she is with CrossFit Lubbock, and she's going to be here to um, talk about our social and her journey with Macroholics, and... Yeah, so we also, um, oh, you're welcome, Laura. It's just for you. Um, we're also live on the um, Facebook group, so we've got all kinds of input coming in. We've got live group chat. We've got Kristen here. We've got questions up from the page, so we are, it's going to be great. So um, first off, I just want to give it over to Kristen. I have her tell you a little bit about who she is, what she does, and her journey with Macroholics. Ooh, all right. Uh, well, Kristen Tucker is my name, and I have been involved in CrossFit, oh, since officially 2010, when I moved to Lubbock, um, so oh, a long time, yeah, <laughs> yes, I was actually introduced to it in 2008, but I had no idea what I was doing, like, would look workups, workouts up on the, uh, website, couldn't do a push-up, couldn't do a pull-up, was, was overweight, I just had my son, I was like, I don't, I don't know what's happening here, but when we moved to Lubbock, I joined a gym, and so, um, from where? Where did you move? From? I moved from Pampa, Texas, oh, yeah. which is Pampa. the northeast of Amarillo, so Panhandle, <laughs> Texas. Cold. Cows. <laughs> yes. And cows. Cows? Yeah, the cows in Tampa. Like a dairy. Oil. Oil. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought there was, when I think Pampa, I think cows. When I think Amarillo, I think cows. I it does smell. There's yeah. chickens. Yeah. The Tyson yeah. chickens farm oh. is up there. Oh, well, it's just terrible. We'll yeah. just not go into genius yeah. and all that. So uh, we'll just pump the brakes. <laughs> so I've been involved with CrossFit for a very long time. Mm -hmm. um, got pregnant with my daughter mm -hmm. in 2010. CrossFitted through pregnancy. Still gained a lot of weight. <laughs> uh, like over 50 pounds with each <laughs> child. Didn't matter. <laughs> well, no, that's not true. You yeah. get 150 pounds. So. Yeah. Two okay. and three. But you have um, more kids. One yes. more. Yeah. So. Yes. It makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just spread it out a little yeah. more. <laughs> kind of. Um, didn't feel good after I had her, like, thought mm -hmm. I was definitely losing my mind. Um, Same. Would get. Yeah. I would just get dizzy walking around the grocery <laughs> store. I didn't think it was safe for me to drive. Yeah, walking like, to my car. Walking to my car. <laughs> like, I am fat and out of shape. Something is not right. Mm -hmm. I don't feel good. Um, I was still breastfeeding, though, so I was really afraid to, well, to mess with very mm -hmm. much. But I went to the doctor first because I thought for sure something was wrong with my heart. Um, <laughs> I don't have any anxiety. So, <laughs> 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 sure I <laughs> so I'd like test me, make sure I'm okay before I like change anything. Mm -hmm. um, and once I decided to stop uh, dispensing milk like a cow. Um, <laughs> speaking of cows. Speaking of speaking cows. Of, yeah. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I decided to get my life act together. And so I, I really focused on my diet. And I didn't know David or Holly or anybody mm -hmm. at that point in my life. Um, I just am very competitive by nature. And what happened was... Same, same, same. There was the same. A, <laughs> a group at work that was like, hey, you're going to get points if you do X, Y, and Z, and it had to do with not just, um, you know, you got points for however much weight you lost, but eating so many vegetables and getting so much meat and reading your Bible so, like, so many minutes a day. And so, naturally. Competitive. You won. I wasn't going to let you win. <laughs> Naturally, it came in first. I, I lost hundred pounds, and I lost like at that point. I think I lost about twenty three pounds. Okay. Okay. And um, still a small child. Still, yeah. Still, still a small, small child. Still a lot of weight. Yeah. And From the perspective only twenty three pounds. Yeah. And at the same time, I competed in my first opens. I didn't do an open until two thousand thirteen. Okay. And uh, really? couldn't do a muscle up. I got one after that. Like, there were muscle-ups in that yeah, workout. I remember that. And I got one after the fact. That was extremely annoying. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, uh, it was, and then, like, I couldn't do Time one again for, like, a year, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, it happens to all of us. Uh, well, not to all of us. Some of us. <laughs> Most girls. <laughs> Most girls. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I told my husband, I was like, hey, you know, like, I think I, I, think I could be pretty good at this. Mm -hmm. And he will argue with me, but I, I am right. Uh, he, always, always. he said, you might be okay, Ooh. but you'll never be 
as good as those other girls. So then oh, she went on to regionals. Just those are fight words. So yeah. He knew what he was doing. Basically, I blame my husband it. for my current situation in life. <laughs> Maybe he knew exactly what he was doing. Maybe he oh, was like, here, yeah. if I he tell you. I didn't tell you how to like light my little fire. Yeah. And I was like, and he will still to this day, he denies that he said that. I'm like, no, like that is what he told so me. Funny. And that just sent me on a war path. Um, <laughs> David would tell me that and I'd be like, oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. I'll just, they'll do something else. Like, don't tell me I can't do something. <laughs> it just makes me mad and I will prove you wrong. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, that just spanned my CrossFit, I guess. I started, I went to regionals in 2014. And I mean, I couldn't do a lot at <laughs> 2014. It was so devastating. Oh. Uh, there were that was the first year that they really upped the ante as yeah. far as mm -hmm. what was expected at competition. Yeah. And to to be fair, I was 34 years old. Mm -hmm. I had never tried to handstand walk before. Mm -hmm. um, and handstand walking was in can regionals. Can you imagine? I'm so so. I can't imagine that. Right? Can you? And oh um, there was uh, snatches. Wow. I had, I one rep max uh, hang snatch. There was like you done snatches. I had done snatches, and thank the Lord it was from the hang. That it like, takes out the first pull. I mean, yeah. that was a bit beneficial. <laughs> it's convenient. <laughs> it's convenient. There were legless rope climbs. I had never ever tried a legless no. rope climb before. I don't even think I tried one until I got on the regional floor. So then long. there were strict handstand push-ups in. For those of you who know me, know that I absolutely still, to this day, handstand push-ups are just not, I mean, have you seen my arms? They're yeah. really long, so it's not a beneficial thing <laughs> yeah. to me. Um, oh, but sorry. I couldn't do them. Uh, so that was a big turning point. Really? Mm -hmm. Because I stood on the floor mm -hmm. for 20 minutes oh. at regionals, <laughs> uh -huh. trying to do eight strict handstand push-ups. Oh, that's my and I could not. friggin' nightmare. It was a nightmare. I just can't oh. even. Oh. Yeah, it was terrible. It, if everyone's like, you, why are you not competitive? That's why. <laughs> well, did you like hold it together or did you like cry? On the floor, I held it together. Uh -huh. Um, after the fact, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like went to the parking lot because I think that was Saturday. Mm -hmm. I think that's correct. And I was like, I quit. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> And I'm talking to my best friend, Laura, and my husband. They, like, have me in the parking lot. And they're like, number one, get it together. <laughs> <laughs> At least you held it together on the floor. Yeah, oh, I don't yeah. think I could have. Oh, no. Because that's, like, I, I would have walked off. No, me too. I know that Thanks, feeling. guys. Like See you next time. I mean, everybody is watching you. And oh, every oh. other athlete is over there trying to help you yes. yeah. succeed. Yeah. Which is yeah. the, it's like, terrible no. and awesome at the same exactly. time. Exactly. Yeah. 100%. Because awful. these no. people want you to succeed. Yes. Yeah. But I'm like, but I don't want that attention on me. Don't look at me like when it's negative. But attention. you feel absolutely terrible, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, sure. so I think that was a big turning point because yeah. then I had to decide what I wanted to do with that. Now at this point you were at Hub City? I was at Hub City okay. CrossFit. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I talked a lot to my friend Rich Bolkin. Yep. Yeah. And uh, he's games athlete, mm -hmm. regional athlete, mm -hmm. and that whole ride home, I think I talked to him via text, like the whole entire ride mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. I was so upset. Well, had he been to the games that previous year? That's the year he qualified. Like, that was the year he qualified, the year he qualified okay. for the games, yeah. So I was extremely ecstatic for him, and I was also like heartbroken, I'm leaving yeah. CrossFit, yeah. I'm never doing this again. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. I get it, I'm there. But it was really cool because uh, he really prompted me to like not give up. Yeah. He's like, good. So, like, get better. That's yeah. basically what he said. So yeah, you don't like you don't like the results. So what are you gonna do about it? That's a funny story. Like, yeah. Get better. Yeah. <laughs> and so I changed gyms, and that's good when I met David. Good thing and you didn't text me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you should quit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll quit with you. You want me to quit with you? Okay, I'll quit with you. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, it's just not for you. Yeah, it's hard. It. Don't do that it. That was hard. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna go get some wine? Okay. <laughs> So then, so yeah, so you switched gyms. I switched gyms Lubbock. in uh, officially in November over yes. to CrossFit Lubbock, and my first week there, I broke my hand. Oh, I forgot that. Did, yeah, yeah. Did and had to have surgery. Like a oh, handstand thing? No, no, no. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be a lot cooler, <laughs> cooler if that's how I broke my hand. No, um, I was warming up <laughs> a box jump. Oh, oh that's right. I, I remember, remember now. And I like 
hit the edge oh, of this knuckle gosh. and it uh, it's spiral fractured. So I had to have surgery. Oh, that's crazy. And so that's crazy and really cool. Yeah. And um, at the same time, because David mm -hmm. worked hand in hand with me. Ha, ha. No pun. No pun. I <laughs> but, but he really did. Yeah. And that's where I got to really know him. Um, and he helped. I feel like that time frame was another huge thing just in my development as um, an athlete mm -hmm. and a human. Mm -hmm. And I'm my mental. Mm -hmm. That's really what he focused on with me yeah. huge was yeah. my mental component. That's like, what David's really Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, okay. So you, so you broke her hand. Mm -hmm. So now what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. Still fitness? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay. And then again, Rich, like, get it together, Christy. Yeah. You yeah. broke her hand. You're yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're fine. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I know. Yeah, Christy's one of those people that's, like, as a competitor, like, on the field, like, solid as a rock. And then, like, training is where all the emotions I, like, come. cry. <laughs> I break down. Yeah. I can't do this. I don't want to do this. I hate you. <laughs> Yeah, now poor Jared gets it. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, okay, so then you uh, went to the games. With I, yeah, we team. qualified a team in 2015, mm -hmm. which was crazy. I mean, we had muscle ups. It, for the first time, they showed up first um, mm -hmm. in the open, and we were like, okay, uh -huh. well, she's only been doing them yep. for a couple of weeks. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I know, it's really weird to hear this story because it's like, so you, the first year you qualified for the regionals was 2014, and then I started coming to Cross Atlantic in 2015, mm -hmm. and that was only like a year. Like you, it wasn't even like you were still like new. Like you, like I was. So, yeah. that's so weird because in my head back in the day, I was like, she's like seasoned. Yeah, mm -hmm. been here for years and years, and like mm -hmm. which you've done Cross It, but like you were not a. Athlete. Not, not as an athlete, athlete or, yeah. or, or a regionals athlete yeah. for long at all. So that's so weird. It is. Like, I mean, the first competition I ever did was in 2013. It was. It was the, uh, oh, what did they call it? Uh, it was, it was some, some team competition, and I did it with Rich. And I miscalculated our weight, y'all, oh. on the bar. I thought he was going to kill me that day. You lost oh, it. It be, and uh, we lost because I miscalculated our weight. Oh. Oh, um, oh David made me judge him for a lot of his regionals or like his nope. open qualifiers. That's so and like, oh yeah. my God. Like that's a lot of pressure. It, it is, is the most pressure, especially oh. for someone that's not competitive. Like I was just like so stressed and I'm like I don't know how to count I forgot how to count I don't know like I can't do it and he would look at me and be like what's my count and I'd be like I don't know I don't know I don't know, I don't know. and he'd be like you gotta tell me what my count is babe and I'd be like oh god, oh my god. I hate counting oh workout. it's so bad like I remember whenever it was like Chris Reed and all of y'all were trying oh, to qualify yeah. mm -hmm. and it was especially when y'all were making the shift to individual mm -hmm. yeah and I was like and they were like we need somebody to judge I was like please god do not don't look at me, me. don't look at me don't look at my me. little gym last year and that was even a lot of pressure yeah, yeah. these people, people were trying to regionals, regionals and, and that was like and it was like a double under workout yes and they were the like worst yes, like you're the only one here so you're gonna have to do it and I was like Okay. Oh my gosh, it's, it's so worse. Worse. Oh my God, it's the worst. It's so bad. Oh my gosh. So anyway, so you went to the games, went to the games in 2015 on a mm -hmm. team with CrossFit Lubbock. Yes. And uh, then came back and uh, mm -hmm. Shannon and Nick, they yes. didn't live here. So yes. we didn't have our whole team with us. Right. Um, and then that next year, 2016, uh, Lots of things, lots of uncertainties, mm -hmm. lots of unknowns uh, mm -hmm. in how things were going to go. And mm -hmm. uh, Chris and myself ended up qualifying as individuals. Mm -hmm. And oh. that was oh. the route. Oh. <laughs> phone. Oh, good. Uh, my mom. <laughs> Y'all. Trinity, if you're still on here, call mom and tell her to stop. <laughs> uh, I ended up qualifying as an individual, which I, I was 36 years old. Like, yeah. that's a... To me, that was a big deal. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, um, that's to anybody a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think I would... I didn't know. Especially because they had changed standards and the way yeah. that you could qualify and they yeah. took less. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because when I qualified in 2014, I think they took... 40 mm -hmm. athletes mm -hmm. and then they bumped it down to yeah. 20. That was like they changed to super regional. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I remember yeah. That. Now we're competing against, we competed against Latin America right. and the Southwest. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So 
So it changed. Changed. And mm -hmm. actually, I actually hurt myself very badly at regionals in 2016. Mm. I, blew, back, right? I blew a disc out yeah. Yeah, 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 on yeah. the deadlift workout. Yeah. Um, didn't realize it because adrenaline, y'all, is right. a beautiful thing. <laughs> I mean, I knew I wasn't right, but I knew something had happened, but I wasn't sure what. Mm -hmm. Anyways, 2000, after regionals and then 2017 rolled around, mm -hmm. um, I think I was probably like 70% during that open. Yeah. And didn't, yeah. did not qualify. Was not <laughs> feeling myself at all. It was yeah. not a good open for Kristen. Very yeah. emotional open. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but David yep. and Derek. Yep. And I got to go and support my friends, which mm -hmm. was cool. Mm -hmm. Different role. So fun. On a different side of things. Mm -hmm. uh, exhausting. Y'all yeah. mm -hmm. are awesome that support us. <laughs> like, it's exhausting. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hallie, I, Hallie knows that. Oh, life. I know that <laughs> life so well. That's like my, like, name tag it's like hi I'm Hallie I support like <laughs> and it's just like it's true it's the worst like it's like so tiring and stressful and like you really especially like at regionals like you only get to watch your crew for like yeah. half a minute yeah. and then you watch everybody else yeah. forever <laughs> like, yeah and so yeah it's like going to a graduation <laughs> ceremony every day of your life so I get it <laughs> that's a get it that's a good analogy <laughs> you're like oh yeah okay and you're like yay my team bye <laughs> And it's loud. It's oh, so loud. Yes. Like even at Wadapalooza, I was like, oh man, I got it. I can't handle this. There were three stages going on at once. There was music in three different places. Dude, that gives me like noise pollution anxiety. So how did like, you feel at Wadapalooza versus typical regionals? It was a really different workout. Uh, or it was big. It was cool because it was a big yeah. uh, competition. Did you feel less pressure, more yeah, pressure? Yeah, I didn't feel pressure. Yeah. yeah. Like, they, as a, it was Why? just a... Uh, well, because it, it was teams of three girls. It was teams of three girls. So it's like they weren't going to the games as a team of three girls. There was... Yeah. Less on the line? Like it was less on the team. line. Mm -hmm. I honestly didn't even... Sorry, girls. I didn't think we would qualify. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, when we did the, when we did right. the online qualifier, right. that wasn't right. even... I didn't even know. I had heard of Wadapalooza right. well, because I'd had, like, a friend that gone before. Right. Yeah. I had never in yeah. my life paid attention to the right. Wadapalooza. Right. Yes. And then we... They're like, do this qualifier with us. I'm like, mm. <laughs> okay, sure. And then, we and then you're like, oh, qualify, qualify. And, and like, we're going. Oh, and and yeah. we're going, and this is going really fast. I am not, I didn't feel a competition shape. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. thought it was right after they took away regionals, and we were yeah. like, and everybody was super friends. depressed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You felt yeah. like the rug got kind of ripped out from under you on that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, for sure. So training and then just my, yeah. you guys know, like I haven't been feeling good yeah. for yeah. a long time mm -hmm. and so I wasn't sure. I was really surprised at how I felt uh, during competition. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. I like never, good? yeah, like, like surprise good, surprise good. Yeah. 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 So a blessing. Yeah. Cause I prayed yeah. about it a lot. I was yeah. like, oh, like yeah. help, me out. help me out here. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't do this and, and feel a little, like terrible. A boost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cool. Um, and you also purchased CrossFit Levy. We did, yeah. So I think that has a lot to do with stress. Mm -hmm. I had huge life changes. So yes. worked as an athletic trainer for 15 years, taking care of athletes. I've done um, anything for 15 years. <laughs> and in May, I left a really good job. I yeah. worked for a, a Lubbock Christian University, which yes. is here in Texas, Lubbock, Texas. Mm -hmm. It's a Division II school. Yes. And I was the associate athletic trainer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was traveling with these awesome athletes. Mm -hmm. We've won national championships together, mm -hmm. like really cool work environment. Mm -hmm. um, and I had, well, when David left, he asked if I wanted to yes. buy CrossFit mm -hmm. Lubbock yep. and I just didn't feel like the timing was correct. Mm -hmm. yep. And uh, I just couldn't do it at that point. And mm -hmm. then Steven approached us again mm -hmm. and was like, yeah, I like really keep praying about this and your name keeps coming up. <laughs> right. I'm like, hmm. Yeah. Well, why don't you let me work on that some more? Yeah. Let me pray some more about that. I don't yeah. know. But this time, I y'all, God opened just a thousand doors. That's awesome. That's awesome. And it was just absolutely, we knew that was the decision. Yeah. And I just keep getting daily affirmations, like, yeah. this yeah. is the right spot. Yeah, it's yeah. so cool when everything so is cool. so easy and you're like, okay, like, it couldn't be Yeah, Berg just went through that yeah. when she came on with Microholics. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so now you own CrossFit Lubbock, and what do you do for CrossFit Lubbock? Oh, I get to hang out with our cool, awesome athletes. Mm -hmm. I coach our 5.30 a.m. class, and I coach our 9.15 on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Mm -hmm. And then I do personal training okay. and whatever else needs cool. to be done. Uh, you know, all the other things that go with what you do. Absolutely. I have a business partner, though. Yes. Ryan Dawson. His mm -hmm. wife, Macy, is on Macroholics. Yes. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, he's yeah, she is. Yeah, she's, she's less lovely. She's mm-hmm. lost. She looks her before and afters are crazy. It's yeah, so cool. Are, yeah, she is. Really she cool. is so good. killing it. Yeah. And even in the gym too, she's just gotten yeah. so much better and more oh, yeah. confident. Oh, yeah. More confident. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely, for sure. I love watching her. Mm-hmm. I love coaching her. Mm-hmm. She's hilarious because she's like, um, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, like, I know it's okay. <laughs> I know you are. I know you are. <laughs> How oh, I miss coaching. Like that was uh, one of my favorite things because I coached at CrossFit Lubbock when David like, and when David and Stephen owned it for like two years. Like, yeah, yeah, long time. You did. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I always like think about that. I miss coaching a mm-hmm. lot. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's, it's been fun. It's been different, uh, different clientele for me because yeah. I've worked with. Elite. Elite, elite athletes as far as I, I've worked with uh, Olympic athletes right. um, I worked with some professional baseball for a while I've had experience at high school and then collegiate levels and uh, mm-hmm. so it's different because I, yeah yeah some of my favorite clients are like my older clients yeah oh yeah they and they're hilarious oh yeah, yeah. Oh, have yeah. y'all met Gwen yeah anybody met Gwen yes. okay I, I so, remember Gwen I, yes. I think I coached her one of the very first times. It is. Yeah, yeah, that's that's watching my jacket off before. Kristen's taking clothes off. Sorry, so. guys. It's really hot in here. It is really hot. Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> she just put chocolates out of her jacket. She's yep. taking off. Don't judge me. They're dumb. The best. All these people on the live are getting a shot. <laughs> Jared's eyes are like, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, oh, oh. I probably shouldn't put those down there. Oh, here, yeah, put them in my jacket. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, there there we go. Go. Well, so. what? Um, so, <laughs> yeah, that little segue there for stripping and dog food. Sorry, it's hot. And we're back. So, it's funny because um, like, I was like, oh, it feels so good. Yeah, I know. That's how I am. Well, I was like, it's pretty hot, but I'm not going to take my sweatshirt off. And now Kristen has I, made the move. Sorry. I'm sweaty. So. I, was like, I was like, did you get a tattoo? I did. It's my new tat. <laughs> and I can't get it off. Oh, no. Yeah, temporary <laughs> tattoo. I was like, wow, Kristen, we didn't talk. <laughs> um, so anyway, yes, yeah, so that's where we're having our social for Macroholics this yes. Saturday. Yes, so excited. Yes. Starts at 2 p.m., get there 15 minutes early to sign a waiver. Yes. yes. So we are going to be doing CrossFit, and by we, I mean everybody but me. You're doing no. 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 But hey, it's going to be, it's no. not complicated. I know. I know how to do CrossFit. Right. I just don't want to do CrossFit. You should do it anyway. Well, you have to. Hmm. Uh, anyway, just one day. So um, I hate CrossFit, and <laughs> that's the perspective that we need in this horde of CrossFitters that I aligned myself with. So oh my if you um, if you also hate CrossFit, it's okay, and you can still come because yeah. I'll be there with you. And y'all can and hate it together. I, we can hate it together. Which is what I think my new name tag should be. I'll meet it with you. <laughs> it's my new position. So, um, yes. So, yeah. Uh, everybody else in this room is a CrossFitter. <laughs> Everyone else on my team are CrossFitters. Yep. Everyone I love is a CrossFitter. <laughs> so, Even your Crossfit. daughter's going to start doing it. Oh, yeah. She's oh, already yeah. sure does it's the yeah. worst. For all her like presence lately, she's been like, can I have a barbell? I was, like, last time she came over, I was doing like a demo of one of the at-home workouts, and I was like, do you want to do burpees with me? And she was like, I had a hard workout this morning. <laughs> I think I'm just going to sit here. And I was like, so okay. Guys, I just needed a daughter that would hate exercise as much as I do, but I don't. <laughs> so sad. She's just like her dang father. So. You, you know what? Hallie says this, but she likes to ride her bike. I like my Peloton exclusively. And that's that's cool. all I and like. And that's exercise. I should have exercise. Peloton. CrossFit's not for everybody. Like that's no. for sure. Yeah, it's not for me. I'm an advocate for exercise. Like no that feeling at the bottom of your squat when you're about to stand up. <laughs> we talked about this yeah. last time. I, just, that is a horrible feeling. It's the worst feeling there is. Like you of all the feelings. Oh, she got the of giving birth. Yeah. Though, which yes. Yes. I have given birth and I don't know if that's on the same level. It's, it's not. <laughs> But it's worse. Yeah. Well, but there are certain things. things, and sometimes you're like, yes. oh, no. No, you get this <laughs> really bad. Guys, with birth, you get a sweet little baby. That's with true. CrossFit, all you do is get sweaty armpits. It's stupid. It's you get not stronger. stronger. Yeah. Uh, what is spring? <laughs> like, are we going to get into that philosophical discussion right now? Oh my gosh. I don't think we should. Oh, you're ridiculous. So, <laughs> anyway, here's the questions from this week from the community page. Um, Sammy Volker said, this may be a touchy subject for some, and I'm not saying I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, is what she's prefacing. But what do y'all think about the keto or low, low-carb diets? Um, I think 
it's sadistic. And <laughs> so that's my I think why make it harder than it needs to be? Mm -hmm. Like you can have carbs and lose weight. Everybody Absolutely. here is like living testimonies yeah. to that. Mm -hmm. And everyone on the program, like mm -hmm. carbs aren't bad. Too many carbs are bad. Mm -hmm. That being said, if you can hit your goals on keto better, then mm -hmm. more power to you. Yeah. I couldn't because I need carbs yeah. to survive. So right. <laughs> it all comes down to if your body's in a caloric deficit or not. If Fact. you're not in deficit, you're not going to lose body fat. That's why so works. being yes. on keto diet, if it's, if it is easier for you to say like, okay, I'm going to eat a sandwich without the bread because that's keto. That's all you're doing is taking away calories. Right. Like the, that bread exactly. is just calories. It doesn't matter if it's carbs. Um, like if you just had the bread diet and you just ate bread instead <laughs> of the meat, like you, you would still feel. be in a caloric deficit. Right. So it's just, it's just different shirts like for right. different folks. Terrible, I feel like I just made a post about this too um, the other day, um, but everything I tried before Macroholics worked. Like most yeah. diets out there worked because I was eating less. Yes, absolutely. But what happened was I couldn't not eat not carbs forever. Mm -hmm. I couldn't replace like all my meals with shakes forever. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so eventually I stopped doing it and then mm -hmm. I gained all my weight back mm -hmm. or more because I couldn't do it forever. And if you right. can't do it forever, your results aren't gonna last forever. I have something mm -hmm. to say about this. And this is from a performance standpoint. Yes. Because oh, yeah. I eat a lot of carbs and I didn't always. And I'm going to say, mm -hmm. this is actually one of the big things that David did for mm -hmm. me on Macroholics. I didn't mm -hmm. lose a lot of my weight uh, or most, I didn't lose like my weight yeah. on Macroholics. How much should we do like five pounds? Yeah, <laughs> I think Kristen, like, like athlete testimony is like a five pound it, weight it, it, it is, it is. But, but I didn't have a healthy relationship with food right. yeah. and I would really restrict myself mm -hmm. on Oh, so many things. So that's how I lost my weight. Yes. yes. And and because I'm stubborn. So like because I'm competitive and I'm stubborn, yeah. I was like, well that's fine. I'll eat the plain chicken and <laughs> yes. celery, which I hate yeah, to lose weight. Mm -hmm. yep. Um and yeah, I'll do that. Now do that. I can eat more of right. It. Right. right. But if you so, yeah. are trying to perform, perform at, at all, all you or just eat. at yeah. all, yeah. like your brain requires mm -hmm. carbohydrates to function. Yeah. And if you so do true. not feed it, you cannot function. Like for my competitive cycling, like <laughs> I just have to have carbs, guys. It's just it's true, it's psychologically like, ever... necessary. That's true. Not to make fun. Yeah, no, I mean, it really is true. But it, it is saying. true. Yeah. yeah. But um, keto is like what, like. 17% carbs it's like or something. Five, so like yeah, it's five on our targets. Yeah. Okay. Then. Well, everything can be changed, but, right. but, but if you want to be technically could take targets. ketosis. Right. And I also, I don't, are, you're not really supposed to stay in ketosis for an extended period of yeah. time. Yeah. It's, it's just, just not like, have you Most ever, people aren't actually in <coughs> ketosis. Yeah. Yes. Like, I mean, I'm actually, not, we had a post about that on the page. Yeah. One of our people said that like her friend is doing this like keto diet and she was like, um, you should do this, like you should test to see if you're in ketosis. And she was like, well, oh, I eat carbs because I'm on macrocholics. And the girl was like, well, let me test you anyway. And she tested her and she was in ketosis. Mm -hmm. It's so, just, I don't know. I'm like, so I just feel like why make it more harder when you don't have to? More it's harder. More harder. harder. More harder. <laughs> And I obviously need to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, there's nothing wrong with keto. If that's what works for you, then do it. But at the same time, like, it, you can also eat carbs and do it. So like, yeah, eat some ice cream. Well, what, what bothers me is when people are like, I'm on the keto diet, but like, I'm gonna go have a glass of wine. Yes. I'm like, yeah. no, you're not. You're not on the keto diet. Yeah. Like, no, it really fun. gets it's me going. It's hard to make alcohol on regular targets. Right. Plus, so yeah. Five yeah. percent. So all suffice it to say, carbs are good, and if you have a thing against carbs, it's fine. But yeah, all in all. If you can have carbs, you probably want to have carbs, and you should have. And those. carbs are good. good yeah, good. Brain. veggies and fruit are carbs. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. They don't yeah. have to be bad carbs. Yeah. Like, if that's what you're worried about, eat yes. veggies. Yeah. <laughs> so moving on to Cali, I think it's Robles. Yes, Robles. Okay, because I didn't want to say Robles because yeah. I don't think that's it. They're from Andrews. I'm a little white for that, but anyway, this whole creating recipe thing. How do you know how many servings it makes? Plus. What's the difference between making a recipe and a meal? I don't know which to use. I get the weighing and most of entering all that part. I also need a scale that I could just use to put my whole crock pot on. Just want to make sure I enter things correctly and understand creating recipes and meals better. Thank you. So that is like the hardest 
part. Yeah. <laughs> Once you do it, though, it, yes. it's like one of those things when you try to explain it to somebody, you're like, this sounds, sounds, sounds like numbers. numbers. It's, it's like that gift for like the <laughs> yeah. numbers are going around. Yeah. But once you do it, it's yes. like, oh, like yeah. that's really not that complicated. It's not. Yeah. And the thing that to simplify <laughs> it, to boil it down, is you want to enter the amount of food you cooked as the amount of serving sizes. Mm -hmm. So you want to have a thousand plus whatever in your serving sizes because you want one gram of what you cooked to be a serving size so that you can put in however much you weigh out of whatever you cooked into my fitness pal. It's confusing, it sounds like calculus scale. I do, that's what I do. I actually, that's how I do it. Do you get really? Yeah, so what I do and then is, I convert, I convert it. So, yeah. cause it weighs it in pounds and then you know there's 28. Yeah. Uh, I've done that before. Grams, of grams. Well, no, 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 grams per ounce. So there's 28 grams per ounce. So you just convert your pounds to ounces and your ounces to grams. Which is more confusing. It is, but it's not. Which is also what I mean by calculus. But it is like, it's it, it it I feel like we're making it more complicated. I know and that's one of those things It's one of those topics that like when you start being like it's really simple All you have to do is compare your convert your ounces to pounds and then you enter it in or millions of grams and I'll help you walk you through it. I promise it's, it's not that hard, but, but like yeah. the easiest recipe I think like for it when it finally like clicked in my head I was like, oh, okay, so like you have your crock pot and it weighs 800 grams So you're gonna write down 800 grams and then you're gonna weigh out your chicken and your chicken broth right. and it's like okay that's a thousand grams so now we have 1800 grams right so whenever it's done cooking you just have to subtract that 800 right. from the crock pot so right. all you have is just the weight of your food right uh, which is the, vi the video that I linked in the questions post we had it made with like a professional animator so it like is supposed it's really to be good. really easy to understand mm -hmm. and you might have to watch it like two times but three it's or really five good. Or whatever. but once but, you do it makes sense yes. But like, so. for an example, I made this Rotel chicken yes. yesterday. All it was was a can of Rotel, two pounds of chicken breast, and a packet of taco, taco seasoning. Mm -hmm. So I added all that into my recipe, and mm -hmm. then I weighed the empty pot first, took a picture of it, it was like 800 grams, something mm -hmm. like that. And then, when it was done, picked it up with the food inside, put it on my scale again, and then I subtracted the difference. So the total of the entire food, the entire thing yes. that came out to 920 grams. Right. So that's what I log as my serving. That's how many servings are in what you cook. I don't know if you can 920. That, 920, because that's what it yes. weighed in grams. And then when I add it, it's my number of servings in grams is how much my individual thing weighs. So yeah. if I weighed up my bowl and it was 200 grams of the chicken, you would type out 200 servings. Number of servings. And that would be 175 calories. And that's how you log it. So that makes sense to me, but yeah. I know that it's hard if you to haven't done it. It so. probably yes. that's how it was for me. It took first. me a few phone calls yeah. to pass. Yeah, yeah. 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 So <laughs> just yeah. text, call, whatever you need to do, and we'll help you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's it gets really easy after you. That's do probably it. the most complicated thing right. on yeah. the program. Mm -hmm. But it's like again, once one of those things, once you do it, you're like, oh, yes, yeah, for, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Do it. You have mm -hmm. to walk through it yourself. Yes. So that is the. Um, you know the the gist of it but like we said that's why we offer unlimited text messaging that's why we offer unlimited facetime calls that's why we have a community page that's why you can facebook message me whatever it is if you are having trouble with recipes ask reach out ask your coach ask your coaches <laughs> Did you hear that? That was good. Um, so <laughs> next is um, Samantha Knobs, who I just am obsessed with right now, and I just need everyone to know it. I just love her right now. She's just like my little favorite little friend. Friend, <laughs> yeah. So um, she was on the program and quit for a while, and she is back. And yeah. she asked, "I'm curious about whether there is a sweet spot for optimal fat loss concerning the fact macros." I think she meant fat. Fact macros. Got okay. it. In other words, I understand the basic guidelines at or under with carbs, at or over with protein. Don't worry about fat. But is there a certain amount of fat where we will see the best fat loss, or does it really just not matter? Um, the short answer is it doesn't matter. Yeah. The long answer is the reason our targets are set to 35, 35, 30 is because technically that is optimal. So you would ideally be as close to that as possible, but at the um, same the same uh, time, it's also just like you want to um, like you want to get as close to those, but you also want to be sustainable. So if you are the kind of person that just like doesn't like carbs, like we were talking about earlier, like you can eat lower carb and higher fat, higher fat and that'll be fine, and you'll still lose fat. 
But if you're talking about technicals, ideals, whatever, technically the closest to that perfect pie as you can get is what we want to see. So I think that'll wrap it up for today. Anything else? I don't think so. Don't think All so. right. Well, if y'all have any questions, just reach out and I'll let us know. See you on Saturday. See you on yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Woo! All right. Bye.